my name's Mike M0 MSN and uh, may I wish you a Merry Christmas and uh, a Happy New Year. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed your festive activities and uh, the time that we've had um, during this uh, this uh, very difficult year um, with Covid etc. Anyway, in this particular um, video we are reporting on the uh, the results of the magnetic loop that I had made in the previous one. Uh, sorry about the wind noise by the way. Um, so there's not that much to report apart from the fact that the, um, the, the difference between the air capacitor and the, the trombone um, there's very little difference in receive uh, and transmit. Uh, the the trombone um, isn't quite as sharp as the air capacitor, uh, therefore the the Q value is is slightly lower, and you get a little bit more um, of the band that's usable without having to retune the uh, the, the loop. Uh, that being said, uh, that obviously proves it's not quite as efficient as well. Um, but hey, you know, yeah, swings and roundabouts, horses for courses, etc, etc, etc. Okay, we'll get it down and explore a little bit in a moment, but uh, here's the loop. And it's up uh, with the air-spaced capacitor at the top. It's been a little bit bodged in at the moment, not uh, brilliant. But I wanted to show you something uh, before... I actually make it all a bit more permanent. Show you this. The loop is one to one at 7.09, which is nearly 7100. As you can see, that's got a very sharp Q. Move it up to, to 100, for instance, and uh, we're at one point to uh, it accurate 1.4 I think yeah and 1.7 at 0 0.8 0 0.08 0 0.09 we're at one there we are so it's a very sharp cue which means the uh, the loop is incredibly efficient um, there we go. So how are we going to make this work? Um, we need to connect this side of our loop to this uh, bank and also this bank so that it's in parallel. Okay. Um, and we'll, then we need to connect the centre to this side of the loop. That will give us enough capacitance to go from the 20 meter band all the way down, hopefully, to the 80 meter band. I'm not going to count my uh, my chickens on that, I must be honest with you, but that's the attempt. Um, so, okay, it's just lashed together at the moment. Um, hopefully it will come out in the wash. Right, what I want to do is so do all of these together in one big blob.
Let's move things in the way. I'll be in the floor in a second or two. Okay, so what I've got is a Jubilee clip. Well, for those of you who don't use such terminology, it's called a hose clamp. that's ever going to get right. Now I've kept the length of the cable exactly the same because I don't know whether or not there will be any phasing or lagging issues. So everything's the same length. Might just help. Now there's a washer on the bottom of that. The uh, Top one's going to go on back there. I'm going to put a slightly bent washer. Okay, slightly bent washer, and the idea is to keep pressure on it without actually stopping it from rotating. Um, that's the only thing I've got to do now is find the nut. There it is. No. That's the only other thing I don't like. Let's see if we can make that a little bit higher. Stop it from arcing or even possibly arcing. There we go. We'll try that. Still moving? Yeah, excellent. We'll put another lot on, not wash on the lot, not on the top to lock it, but it's not actually stopping it from turning. Okay, let's put the other Jubilee clip on. Right, let's get it in the right place, which is there. Ah, ready to rock and roll. Nice and tight. There we go. Okay, just quickly. I think we've got there. Final job. There's the uh, the air spaced loop 
following the coax cable around so you can see that uh, this is actually what I'm seeing. Get in this. Wow. Thank you for five nine plus five of ten. Also for you, eh? Five and ten. Okay, the microphone for the net control, Francesco. Go ahead, Francesco. No, no, it's Rosano in the control. Why like Rosano? Ah, Rosano. Rosano, Rosano, go ahead. And we know that you have to be So this is the magnetic loop at the moment um, and if we go across from the magnetic loop to the end fed half wave, that's now the end fed half wave and I'll just uh, let's see this, here we go, so the end fed half wave is on number one, that's the magnetic loop on number two. And if I now change it to the 20 meter vertical, a little more, more noise coming in as you can see. And uh, whether or not the uh, signal strength would be different has to stop talking just as we uh, go across to it, of course. Mike, EA7JURI. Okay, Luke, yeah, thanks for looking in. And uh, hopefully uh, all your family is safe and your family are okay there with this nasty virus going around. And uh, hopefully you have a good Christmas and New Year. Uh, we're going to have a radio, as I say, we're not mixed at all anywhere. Enfield Halfway. We're not having any problems. 20 meter vertical. Enfield Halfway. Because our ages, uh, and hopefully we we'll have to keep away from it. But I think it's going to go and magnetic. Year, and being this is serious, it's not worse than next year.